Hi, my name is Noah. I'm a student working at Jews for Judaism this summer to help with global internet outreach. Jews for Judaism works to educate the Jewish community about the threat of hundreds of Christian missionary organizations like Jews for Jesus that spend millions of dollars each year to specifically target Jews for conversion. Despite their use of Jewish symbols and tradition in order to mislead and entice Jews, the theology of these so-called messianic Jewish groups is 100% Christian. In fact, many of the leaders in the Jews for Jesus movements are not even Jewish, and both Jewish and Christian organizations have denounced their tactics. In the event that you are confused or confronted by Jews for Jesus or any other Christian missionaries, I would like to offer some simple answers to the questions that they may pose. Question number one, who do you think Jesus was? According to most theologians and Jewish scholars, Jesus was a first century Jew who claimed to be the Messiah, but he died without fulfilling any of the messianic prophecies, including one, bringing universal peace to the world, two, the ingathering of Jewish exiles to Israel, three, rebuilding the temple in Jerusalem, and four, worldwide knowledge of God. Question two, don't the prophecies in the Jewish Bible prove that Jesus is the Messiah? Actually, every one of the biblical or rabbinic passages that Christian missionaries bring as a proof that Jesus is the Messiah has been mistranslated, misquoted, taken out of context, or even fabricated altogether. When carefully analyzed, Jewish scriptures do not point to Jesus as being the Jewish Messiah and in fact clearly disqualify him. Question number three. Did you know that believing in Jesus is the most Jewish thing you can do? Quite the opposite. Believing in Jesus is one of the biggest mistakes a Jew can make. According to Judaism, the Messiah will not be divine or eliminate the obligation to observe the Torah. Jews believe in one infinite, non-physical God. By believing that the man Jesus is part of a triune God, Jews for Jesus have accepted a belief that is idolatry for Jews. Question number four. How will you be forgiven for your sins without a temple sacrifice? Repentance, or teshuva in Hebrew, is the means of rectifying our mistakes. Through the process of repentance, we acknowledge our sincere misdeeds, feel remorse for the wrongs we've done, strive not to repeat these sins, and return to God. The prophets clearly taught that prayer and repentance are the primary remedy for sin and suffice when there is no temple. Question number five. Did you know that Jesus can change your life and perform miracles? Okay, let's be honest. All religions make similar assertions. No single religion has the monopoly on life-changing experiences or claims to miracles. The Torah in Deuteronomy chapter 13 specifically warns us not to follow false prophets, even though they might have the ability to perform supernatural miracles. Question number six. Did you know that you can be Jewish and Christian at the same time? Being a Jew for Jesus is as absurd as being a Christian for Buddha or a vegetarian for meat. The fact that some of the first Christians were Jews didn't make them right. Their movement soon died out as soon as the church became a Gentile institution. And finally, question number seven. Do you have a personal relationship with God? Every Jew has a personal relationship with God because we all possess a divine soul or neshama in Hebrew. All we need to do is turn to God with a sincere heart and this will awaken our intrinsic spiritual closeness to him. Prayer, Torah study, and loving kindness are all spiritual means to approach the Almighty. Psalm 145 verse 18 teaches that God is near anyone who calls upon him with sincerity. If you have been confused or confronted by Christian missionary groups like Jews for Jesus and need information beyond the scope of this brief video, please contact Jews for Judaism. We're the Jewish community's resource that has the experience and the expertise to help you. For more information or to schedule a private consultation, just go to the website below. We'd love to help. Thank you.